Hey guys, welcome back to Sonic Advance 2. We now we come to the point where the ugly side of Dip's development comes into play. Welcome to Sky Canyon. I love how Woo! this level looks. I love how it looks. I just hate everything else about it. Oh, well, I like the song. I like the song applied to it too. Mm. Uh, I also I I can't believe we didn't point out, but kind of a, a, a cute little detail about Cream because well cute detail about Cream which one? But <laughs> when you jump in a ball, she kind of does a similar thing that Tails does. Only instead of Tails, you see her ears next to the ball form. How the physics for that is possible, I don't know. We don't whoa, question whoa, whoa. Sonic that, physics. That that's another no. reason why I hate this fucking level. These things. Whee! Windmills. The level design for this kind of goes in many ways against the whole gotta speed up mentality of Sonic Advance 2. Mm -hmm. And you're going to collide with collide with a couple um, dead ends and, of course, the occasional bottomless pit. I can hear my yeah. inner child screaming right now because I used to play this game. I never oh like when a Sonic game does this because it goes against everything that I've learned up until this point about yeah. Sonic. Like, if you, so, if you take the... If, if you're taking the first half of your game to teach me that I should go fast and then immediately say, uh, no, no, but, but not too fast, I'm like, well, what the hell is the point of going fast? You've just now taken the one thing that makes your entire game fun and told me that I shouldn't do it, Sega. Just, there's, I mean, there's certain games where I think the design design is fine enough with it. I just don't think, if, if the whole point is just to literally just go, go right for most of the time and just go as fast as you fucking can like that, it doesn't work. Yeah, Reminds me of the American school system. Do you, do you show off any of the pits? Um, I did cut out a few deaths. I might yeah. have left one or two in just for the sake of posterity, but yeah, I forget. Posterity. The pits in this level are so, yeah. so fucking bad. There. By the mm -hmm. way, so you know that uh, area where we just came from? Yeah, there's a pit mm -hmm. below there. Mm -hmm. oh. Just like the American <laughs> school system. I don't know. Also, the first time you said that, I thought you I thought you said skull. And I nope. was like, wow. Skull system. Skull, skull yeah. system. Like, Every last one. Skull. Like thing in my head? School. English is my first language, damn it. Remember to buy <laughs> crystal head vodka. God, no. I was about to say, when, I was about to say, when did the red skull take over our school system? I don't know. <laughs> Fight long I don't though. think we want to know. Yeah. Also, fun oh boy. fun fact. Apparently, so Crystal Head Vodka is like this dumb vodka made by Dan Aykroyd. Apparently, <laughs> it's supposed to be good. Uh, is it? From, it? from what people said, but to be fair, I just don't like alcohol in general. Same. Same. The only the only alcohol I like is mojito. Pina colata. I only drink it in some instances. And... Oh, that that's a dick move right there. Whoa, that hey oh, you could have been crushed. That is another thing. Just, just, ugh. That could have crushed you. The poor little Go. bunny would be turned into manoodle. Manoodle? <laughs> it's usually <laughs> made with rabbit meat. Oh. oh. I thought you were doing, like, noodle and manure. <laughs> no, yeah, no. I thought so, too. No, it can be made with beef as well, but manoodle is usually made with rabbit. Actually, you know what? That's you make... that's also what somebody says when they're kicking the dick. Ah, manoodle! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now that you make the joke about rabbit meals, it reminds me of that one joke from um, Sonic... Um... Yeah, from Sonic, Sonic Paradox. Paradox. Yeah, the, the, when they're having dinner at Chris's house, and it's like, Tails' meal is like a cooked rabbit. And then she's uh... like... I can't do the voice. Sorry, my throat is sore. Oh, I'm there to eat. Well, I'm starved. Let's eat. Thank you. I'm there to eat. Yeah. Poor and then continues to cry. Yeah. Well, what I love is that, like, basically, it's like Chris, apparently Chris did his research on what they had, on what their species eat. So it's like with Knuckles, it's just a plate of ants, and all the ants kind of tackle him. And then with Sonic, <laughs> it's like cat food. And then with yeah, just like in the next, it's like cat food. Really, the big just crashes through the wall. <laughs> cat food. So, uh, real, real, oh, what's up? yeah, real quick. Let's see how Sonic's doing in the Sky Canyon oh, with boy. our next boss. Listen to this theme, though. Okay. So, yeah, here's the worst boss in the entire game. Knuckles! What? Oh, <laughs> damn it, Knuckles. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's Love pretty good. This ah, oh, wow. That oh. right there. <laughs> you. Fucking sucks. He slapped you. Bitch slapped. No joke. The worst part about... 
about this boss is that hand, because you, like, can't do any fucking damage to it. No. Which is weird, because you can damage the other contraption he has, but it's like the hand? No, that thing stays, and the word, and again, as you saw right there, if you, if he smacks you right down the middle, that's, that's a death. Mm. No matter how many rings you have on standby. Jeez. I could have sworn it is possible to knock out the platform it's on. Ouch. Oh gosh, and that is insta it? hit laser. Yeah, I've done it before. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've tried, I've tried many a time, and I never get the yeah. thing to fall. It's hard, I'm not gonna deny you that, but it is possible. As much as I love this song and this boss and this boss theme, I hate this boss. I thought it was gonna be Eggman. Yeah. And on top of that, the capsule that Knuckles is inside can only be damaged from the top. Yeah. Considering all the spikes that are below him. Well, not to mention the fact that you can't even you can't even hurt him from the sides. It's all protected. It's the glass dome you gotta hurt. Dude. Well, that ah, sucks. See? He is literally living in a glass dome. I don't want to be a bubble boy. Mm -hmm. He's literally living on his own island again. He's yeah. living in a gangster's paradise. Also, I wonder. Oh no! <laughs> I wonder why Knuckles. What? Oh, oh god! Oh, that was a jerk move. I wonder why Knuckles is fighting us. I mean, it can't be because of Eggman tricking him again. Oop. What do you think? Let's not question it. We already know. What? Where else would Knuckles get That's this it? technology from? Let alone, how does he know, even know how to use it? Uh, mm. Internet. <laughs> internet. <laughs> it does exist. I mean, nowadays that would be the answer. I mean, honestly, that's that's the age-old question for me. How the hell is he? How the hell can he even control such a good track? Internet, damn it! He's literally been an island bumpkin for so many years. I feel like, well, I feel like maybe Eggman taught him. It's kind of like a driving lesson. It's like, now put it in reverse. <laughs> wait, wait, I got it, I got it. Oh, oh, Eggman just gives him gives him a transcript and he looks at it for a second. Oh wait, I can't read. Oh, <laughs> oh, Rupik, I, I, was, uh, I love this coming up. And we'll have Logan you play him. Alright. I have fun. Just give him something to do. Yeah. No. You know, the strangest thing just happened. Uh-huh. <laughs> You let Eggman dupe you again! Leave me alone! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you buying clothes at the soap store? <sighs> Whatever. See ya, Knucklehead. Hey! Uh, I won't let Eggman get away with this. He ain't getting away with my pride. And we don't get to see it because we're just gonna focus on the cute bunny. I almost yep. thought that said Hanunchals. And now we bring you back to your regularly scheduled programming of Cream. Tech. Techno base. Oh Whoa. god! Oh my nice. goodness. Also, I, I, I love how this world looks. I don't. I have sensory. Oh, you... Over sensory. Oh yeah, yeah. it might be epileptic. Whoa. Before you forget, Logan, what were you trying oh, to say? Oh no! What? Just the background. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm closing my eyes right now. I can't Close your see eyes. this. I That's, like That's fine. fine. We'll tell problems. you what happens. I like how it looks for the most part, and then there's the flashing purple in the background. And I like purple, but yeah. Not that. Purple. Well, of course you are the purple pie. Get him! <laughs> ah, all the red. Oh. All, the, all things considered, this level is always like that one mm. one level I forget exists in this game because this is around the top point in the game where I kind of stop my playthroughs. Yeah, same. Know. Yeah, same here, especially with Sky Canyon. I think this is where I stopped playing the game at Sky Canyon because of the pits, and I never got to see this. I was able to beat the game. Ironically, I find this place isn't even isn't even as bad as Sky Canyon. No. No. It, yeah. No. This place isn't as bad as Sky Canyon. I hate Sky Canyon though. And no joke. As a kid, when I finally got to this world, I literally said, "Oh, finally!" <laughs> That's so, what you sounded like. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. So, so <laughs> very accurate representation. So James, what did you, uh, what do you think of this stage, and or what would you say is your favorite stage out of this game? I mean, all things considered, the stage isn't all that bad. It's just, it's got some nice visuals, oh. assuming you, assuming you have the eyes for them. Nice. But otherwise, it's, it's it's just there for my for my money. Oh, and as far as like my favorite level in this game, oh. honestly, I would say it's probably a tough a tough call between uh, Music Plant and um, Ice Paradise. Yeah, same. same. Also, yeah. yeah now that I think about it, this level's like, the, yeah, it is hurting my eyes too. At least the background is. The foreground is generally okay, but yeah, just some things are a little you bit, know, you know. Uh, like that. It's funny how I'm one of. Like, the... it's... Yeah, like... Hold on. Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. 
I was gonna no, say, what were you going to say? It's just like before they gave the warnings for Incredibles 2, like, oh, we're not going to tell the people that there's going to be extreme flashing lights in some scenes. They yeah. still, they started oh, doing that. The, this is even the most extreme I've seen of it's just kind of a visual style. No, it's mm. odd. No, it's odd. They edited the movie for theaters just to sh just to put that little description. However, they edited the full scene to be less intense in the DVD. Really? Yeah. I don't know why they didn't I, my, that. my family actually rewatched the movie a few months back uh, when it was out on Blu-ray, and that scene, like we knew it was coming because we saw it in theaters, but it just wasn't as intense. Huh. I'll have to look back on it. I'll see what you will. I still think it's a good fight scene. Oh, yeah. it is. Yeah, it's, it is. Also, also, um, it is a very good fight scene. I am still very disappointed in the villain, but yeah. Well, I was about to. Okay, well, I guess I, I, I didn't think you would bring that up so soon. I was gonna quickly interject with unpopular opinion. I actually like Incredibles 2. Uh, no, I, 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 I thought the movie is good no, no. in general. Yes. Yeah, you can still have a you can still have a generally good movie with a bad villain or something. But uh, my... I just think the motivation was a little weak. Again, yeah. there's this again there's this really good video series called How to Fix Incredibles. It's like how to fix the villain, how to fix the final conflict, how to fix. Yeah. It was, it was just those actually, two videos, I, I think. Will but... say, I do like the final fight because if you actually watch the final fight, it is a complete inverse to the uh, to the final battle in Incredibles One because they both mm -hmm. involve planes, but the villain in Incredibles One is sucked into the plane and dies, while the villain in Incredibles Two is sucked out of the plane and lives. Oh, and okay. also, I also want to say this real quick, like, I'm not going to say people are wrong about the villain, but honestly, not counting that, like, the thing that I kind of like the most about Incredibles 2 is that, in some aspects, I actually think it handled some things better than the first film. Like, I love the fact that it focuces more on, like, the different members in the family that's, instead of just okay, focusing yes, on Bob. That is yeah. what people like about the movie. Nobody is saying that's the bad part of the movie. The people that people... The thing that people are saying, Steve, is bad about the movie, or at least generally just not as good, is the villain. Because let's all be fair, Syndrome is one of the best goddamn villains ever. Yes, Hell he's yeah. funny. He's he, funny. he enjoys being a villain. Yeah, he's a he fun villain. It. He he's funny. He's cool. He's interesting. Whereas not to mention he's deadly. Yeah. Yeah. And this, whereas the villain in the sequel is just not. Everybody <laughs> admits. Okay, that... Pi, it's all good now. You can come back to the video now. Oh, thank Lordy! No, gosh, more spinning. I lied. No. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna keep my eyes closed. Bye. It's not bad. It's not as bad head. here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. But yeah, no, I, I, yeah, so, uh, nobody is disagreeing with you there. People are, people still like Incredibles 2. People really like it, and I love that movie. However, it just came out at a really bad time. Yeah, and I know you're going to go like, well, people are saying that, uh, I apologize. Uh, well, people were saying that, um, we're making fun of it for getting the Oscar. It, ah! it, oh! Oh, the we buggy! Died. Yeah. You're... You, I remember, I apologize, Steve, I really do. I remember when you were complaining about how people were going, <laughs> were making fun of it for wanting to get the Oscar, but it, instead Oscar? of spite, it, yeah, for Academy Award, Oscar. Doing, I don't think he was for, making fun of it for I, that. I thought you said Oscar for a moment. <laughs> also, James, uh, also, James, I respect you, tr I, I respect you initially not wanting to cheese it, James, but I, I totally understand why you'd want to go for mm -hmm. that after that. All right, all right, Pie, for real, though, you're, the coast is clear now. Yeah, you know you're good. Now. Finish what you were saying. Okay, the thing is, Spider-Verse just did things a bit better and was more interesting, in my opinion, and a lot of yes. people's opinions. And Incredible 2, I love that movie. I truly do. It is a great film. Uh, but, again, the villain isn't as good. And also, one other problem with it is that it does feel a little bit like the first one. Yeah, it, it does, does in some aspects. Yeah, it yeah. kind of it really does open some insight on the fact that there's kind of a reason why there wasn't an incredible sequel for so long. Yeah, a friend of my a friend of mine was talking about it, Matt, and we actually came to a conclusion. What? what? Oh yeah, that, what's that? That so there's a scene in the movie where Helen uh, Elastigirl stops a train and like saves it and everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. like thinking on it. She actually was kind of a jerk. If in like full context, like she should have known better. Where like, you know, after she does it, she calls up Bob. It's like, 
Oh my gosh, I stopped the train. It's so great. Well, oh my no, gosh, she, I can't believe I stopped the train. She's, she's excited. Ex she actually did it. Yeah. yeah, she's excited about that, but I don't Except, think she meant to be a jerk towards her husband. No, no, no. No, no hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out, and you'll see why. Actually, I real think... quick, before you yeah. get into your mm -hmm. tangent, I just like to say we're at our fu or our final quote unquote low for the game, and much like Sky Canyon, oh, this place is a pain, pain right. in the ass. Yeah. yeah. Ah, so you yeah. okay, Steve? I'm fine. I I'm just waiting for you guys to finish. All right. Okay. Right. I was gonna say, uh, I actually am going to correct you there, Matt, because I think the same reason why Helen was maybe a jerk about it is so is I think the same thing you're falling for as well, which is that we are forgetting a very important detail. Let's back up a bit here, okay? okay. Incredible, Incredibles 1. The th what did Bob do almost immediately before superheroes all became illegal? Save a train. Ah! Uh. He tried to save and stop a train, but he stopped it way too quickly, I... and a lot of people took a lot okay. of damage. So here comes Helen, who's saying, I stopped a train! And everything's okay. How, and I can immediately however, probably think. However, I doubt it was her intention. That was years ago. No, I don't. I don't and think it was I her intention. I don't think it was her intention either. I'm just saying, unintentionally, I feel like Bob definitely would not have let. Would not have like. I don't think Bob would have like forgotten about that maybe as much as other people. Would oh have, yeah, no, no. Him. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Actually, but here's the thing. Again, I don't think that I. Uh, it was her intention and no, or anything not. like that to unintentionally just yeah, I, yeah it probably cut up a sore spot anyway i'll Ouch. i'll be right back go ahead hype okay okay well my thing is that like i don't really remember like like i'm not gonna say you're wrong matt i don't remember me really making a fuss about like how about the incredible twos placement in you terms of like the oscars it's sorry to... okay well the only thing I really remember in terms of, like, The Incredibles Whoa. 2 and Spider-Verse was I was just more so making a joke about the fact that about, like, apparently... Like, do you guys remember that one post on Twitter where it's, like, this guy was talking about how he really liked The Incredibles 2 and every single res response is just that gift from Spider-Verse of Spidey making that weird face? Yeah, but even then, that the whole point was not bashing Incredibles 2. is just saying, hey, we think that... Spireverse is a better movie, and it wasn't just some random person. It was actually the production team themselves saying, "We hope you consider. Ah. We hope you consider uh, the. We hope you consider Incredibles 2 for the Academy Award for Best Anime Picture." And people were responding with Spireverse because I think a lot of people agree that did some stuff better. Mm -hmm. And and mm -hmm. also it was much more unique. The animation felt more unique. The story was a bit more unique. It was, it felt more unique, whereas Incredibles 2 did kind of feel like standard Pixar. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think it was, I think for me, it's more so a matter of not so much, I'm not really disagreeing with you about the faults for Incredibles 2. It just kind of more so goes into like, I don't, I feel like I might have talked about it in some other videos. I know I've definitely talked about it off videos, but I can't help but think that Spider-Verse kind of set this honestly kind of unfair stigma with a lot of people that like every animated film throughout that year people were kind of like if it's not spider-verse they don't really care no no they're like just some people yes but it's it's no. yeah. let's i think oh, so I'm back. Hey, then. hey well, yeah. I, oh, welcome I think, back welcome back i think a lot of people actually agree that the that uh last year that 2018 was like 2017 when it came... 2017 was fantastic when it came to superhero movies. Yes. 2018 yeah. was fantastic when it came to uh, animated movies. However, yeah. there are still better superhero movies from 2017, and there are also better animated movies from 2018. And, mm -hmm. like, I, I love all the movies in 20... I love all the all the uh all the superhero movies in 2017 but my favorite i think a lot of people is going to be thor ragnarok because that Dang. did so many unique and fun mm -hmm. things with the whole concept and even pretty much saved thor as a character um mm -hmm. along with Endgame yeah i did that. yeah and, yeah but but then you have uh a very, but yeah, even then, people aren't going to say that the others are bad or terrible or anyway. Just that this one is better than the others. 
So mm-hmm. it's a similar thing with uh, 2018 with animated movies. Nobody is saying any of the animated movies are bad. They're just saying that. Oh, that no, sucks no. right there. Yeah, that is yeah. that is a pit, and it sucks. <laughs> but yeah, no, I. Uh, yeah, no, the. So yeah, nobody is saying that any of the animated movies are bad in 20 in 20. Uh, oh. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah. Or any of the big ones are. They're just saying that Spider Verse is kind of the best because mm. it it did the most with its concept. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that you shouldn't think Spider Verse is the best. In some aspects, I kind of agree. I just can't help but think that they probably could have been a little less, maybe not aggressive, but maybe a little less blunt about it, if for lack of a better way of phrasing it. Uh, well, even then, people are going to be are going to be blunt that way. Let's be fair. Like, anyway, speaking of, speaking of Spider Verse, is coming on Netflix. Oh yeah, it yeah, is. That's all I gotta say. I just like Spider Verse. <laughs> Before we move on, I I just like to say that now I know what it feels like to be on a Game Grumps episode on an off day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like watching Game, Game Grumps. So. Oh boy. Sorry. So, James, uh, ultimately. Do you, how do you think this game holds up compared to other like 2D Sonic games? Um, I will say this much: if there's one problem I do have with Sonic Advance 2, looking back on it, it is a fun game just to play through, like maybe every once in a blue. But like playing it, at, playing it like more than once makes you realize just how uh, what's the what's the best way to put it? I don't want to say it, repetitive, but more so one note the level design is. One trick pony. Because all you're really doing is just going right for the, most of the time. It's a one trick pony. Mm. It, it, that's exactly what it is. Sonic Advance 2 is a great one trick pony. Yep. yep. Another thing I would also say just by observing it, and now that I think about it, it's kind of a problem that all the Advance games have is that it, the level design I don't think was really, uh, for lack of a better word, I don't think they had like a lot of thorough thinking when it comes to the level design. I would say it. I would say it's at its worst. Well, well okay. I, I was about to say it's at its worst with this game, but at the same time, I will. Also, there's also the matter of Sonic Advance Three, just having some really dickish enemy spike and pit placement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Though I will admit, even then, I do think Sonic Advance Three succeeds a little more in the fact that well, it's Whoa. more than just the typical just go as fast as you can. And now we come to our. X-Men. Final, final zone, where we come to a straight-up boss rush. Yep. Oh, right. dear. I don't think that they've ever done this before in a Sonic game. Huh. Now that... Not really, no. They kind of they kind of poked fun at it with Sonic Advance 1 by literally rehashing the Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 first bosses, but after that, otherwise, nothing. I was about to say, Advance 1 is the closest thing I could think of where they had, like, a genuine boss rush. Mm. Oh, I mm-hmm. do have one question, though. Do we have to fight the Knuckles boss again? I think we have to fight all the bosses. Yeah, again. we have to fight all of them. Dang it. You have to fight all the bosses again in sequence. Though, that said, the only the only good side to this is that the bosses have less health than they did before. That's good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So so it's pretty much just going through the uh like a quicker version. It's pretty much the Eggman clip show with robots. And a bunny. And I don't think we talked about this in the last part at all. Uh, this is not going to be a supersonic run, I don't think. No, oh. fuck that. That would require me getting all seven Chaos Emeralds, and again, trying to get the get, trying to get to the special stages themselves is just counterproductive to the game's natural design. Yeah, we... are there are there checkpoints in these fights? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Okay. And the, just going back to what you were saying about the Super Sonic run, I think James mentioned it earlier. <laughs> oh, oh she oh, geez, that run without cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, James might mention it before. I'll reiterate for his sake. When you have to collect the Chaos Emeralds, you have to collect all of them as every character. So you basically have to collect all seven four times. It's, it's kind of like, um, actually not heroes, because you only have to do that once. Right. right. Yeah. Um, I would say in Sonic Advance, to be fair though, in Sonic Advance 2's case, I think you only need to, need to collect all seven Chaos Emeralds once just to get the final scenario. Get, getting the Chaos Emeralds with every other character just unlocks additional bonuses like mini games in the Ch- Tiny Child Garden or Amy as a playable character. I could have sworn mm. you had to give them all four times for the final boss. No, I think that again, that's only for to unlock Amy. At least as far as I'm concerned. Um, I'll, 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 look, I'll look up the details right, later, just to make sure that. I'm here's okay. this. Oh, he's wrong. Oh yeah. By it. the way. Oh yeah. Yep. By the way, um, if you if you were fighting this boss as any other character, then yeah, you would just be sticking to fighting Eggman. Knuckles is yeah. nowhere to be seen. How does he gotcha. get in there? What? 
Wouldn't that be Very something carefully. if when you're playing as mm. if you're playing as Knuckles and you come across this again, and it'd just be kind of like a little revengeance act? <laughs> or they could just bring back the Knuckles droid, droid from uh, the first game. Hmm. Oh, right, uh, Advance yeah. One. I never played Advance One. I've only oh, played the again. ending level of Advanced One. Uh, well, I guess you weren't really advanced. Uh, no. Wait, uh, if, you've only, if you've only played the final act, how did you get to it? I think what happened was this game was either rented like by someone previously or owned by someone previously, and I, their save file was still there, so therefore, yeah. Oh. Okay, now we get to the genuine... Oh, wait. Not yet. We have to refight this boss again. No. I mean, not that long my other explanation would be actually, I don't think my brother played this. Yeah, I think this was like this was probably when he moved out or something like that or went to college. So, yeah, I think that I think my first explanation Ooh. is probably what ah. happened. Mm. You re yeah, you re remember when you could have ranked Game Boy Advance games? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Then they had to stop doing that because everyone kept losing the game packs. Remember when you can rent period? I want you to do a joke for me. Uh, for me. Oh, oh what the? Uh, James, when you edit this. <gasps> What's this? Uh -oh. oh, the one boss you actually don't have to run away from. It's can, a snowman. Can you do it? Can you do a uh, joke for me when, uh, when you edit this, by the way? What is it? Uh, when, oh, there's no rings here. That's bullshit. Um, nope. Uh, you stuck with whatever you have left. Wait. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, the, uh, he, when he comes in at the very ending of the last fight, uh, uh -huh. and we just attack him out of nowhere, pretty much, just put in the surprise motherfucker, but cut it I'll off right the motherfucker again. at the very end, when he's yeah. in. <laughs> I'll think about Actually, it. Actually, since, since you have both arms taken care of, you can just cheese it. But exactly! <laughs> Which is what I'm gonna do. Cheese it! I was hoping to save at least one more hit for myself, but nah, she's the real star of the show here. No, I'm the bad guy. And by the way, folks, it's, it's kind of sad for me to say, but I've only beaten this game with Cream. Oh, yeah. I was, so, I was pretty close to do it, beating it with Sonic, but that final bit, ugh. I was able to beat it with Sonic, but I think that was the only time I've ever beaten it. Mm. And thus, the Egg Utopia comes crashing down. Now, thanks to a little rabbit. All thanks to a six-year-old. Oh, oh, real quick, um, just to let you know, the bit that comes up next, every it's the same with every character, except for Cream. She gets a little addition. Oh, let's see. And you'll see what that addition Her is. mom's okay. Oh. The mom that we never see ever again in this entire franchise. You're well, right. actually, Correct. in Sonic Rush, you do. Wait, huh. really? Huh. Okay. Yeah, in Blaze's story. Hmm. Huh. And so that was Sonic. That was the story of Eggman trying to ruin a little girl's day. I guess Aww. you could say that I rushed through that game. We totally creamed that egg. Oh, actually, <laughs> something I just something I just really since this. we talked to, <laughs> since we did talk about vanilla, something that I just dawned on me, like during the during the supersonic portion of the game, like after you beat Eggman, it shows like Sonic like in the air trying to catch Vanilla, which implies that Eggman kidnapped Vanilla. What did he need her for again? Robot development. What else? Uh, I thought it was something else entirely, but I'm keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> literally at the very beginning of the, of the, uh, of the uh, final segment of the game, Eggman just literally sucks up all the animals off the ground for, and get, takes off with them, hoping to build more badniks with them, and Sonic, with the power of the emeralds, stops him. Hmm. Well, that's right. I yeah. remember, like, it showed the machine sucking them up, and Vanilla was just standing there for reasons. <laughs> well, she was she was just there. She was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. Basically. And besides, that suction was quite strong. But um, yeah. What well, overall, I still I do still enjoy this game. But again, this is one of those games I just come back to like every once in a while, just for just to fulfill yeah. my old nostalgia for it. <laughs> I'm on for Knuckles. <laughs> I, no, no, I, just, I just see that image in Knuckles. I'm just thinking to myself. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought of a funny. <laughs> that yeah. kind of face looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I love this game. <coughs> I really do. It, it was it was one of my favorite Sonics for the longest time. It does have a lot of issues, but you know mm. what? It's still a lot of fun. And also, Cream is amazing. I would also say that those issues are only really prevalent in the second half of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, since I didn't get all those Chaos Emeralds, Eggman's here to mock me again. Oh. Ho 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 ho! Collect all the chaos! 
<laughs> I was legitimately going to say. She says no, bitch. You're not pulling any fast ones. She's got him. <laughs> so you got. <laughs> so, I guess to continue with our final thoughts, uh, Logan, you you say you never played this game before. Oh, Logan's gone at the moment. Oh. oh, he is. Oh, he is. God damn it. Yeah. Uh, Jordan. You had to miss out on my miss out on my joke. Ah. <laughs> he'll co he'll come back to it later. But anyway, uh, my thoughts on this, um, because I've only played it like maybe a few times and didn't fully complete it. I don't have too much experience with it, but from what I remember, it th I thought it was pretty fun and cute, and I liked that cream was in it, and I I'm trying to remember if I liked that. Or thought that one was better out of uh, the other two. I know one was definitely better than three. That I can say that much. Mm. Yeah, no, three three is the worst, and one and two are usually tied. Yeah, but I'll say looking back at this, it was really nice to look back. It was really nice to watch with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it all, again, it just it just rekindles some of my old memories of back when I was a real I was on a really huge hedgehog guy. Mm -hmm. This, so I can the adventure games, and yeah, pretty much everything would, up until would you call the, it, until the Dark Ages. Would you call it a high talk? The what? That's a the what? High, <laughs> a high talk. High, high hedgehog. Oh, I get it. You're even stretching with these puns. Oh, God. I'm getting worse, okay? I can tell. But to be fair, it's meant to be bad. Yeah, but That's not that true. bad. Um, is anyone else missing their final thoughts? Or um, are we I can explain. Go? I can explain a little bit more about my end because I only okay. gave Alrighty. a short brief. I did own this game, but I mostly played the time trials, like try to see if I could run faster than my brother because he's a lot better at these games. Hmm. And looking back at it, finally seeing what happens at the end, especially with Cream's Run, it's like eh, it's cute, it's fun, something quick to go. That's what Game Boy Advance games are about. There, I'm done. Yeah. Who else? It's short, sweet, yeah. and to the point. Something yeah. quick yeah. until you get to Sky Canyon! Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'm, well, I guess at this point, since Logan's pretty much high-tailed. Oh, wait, he's back. Here. Oh, he's back? Logan, yeah! Hey, you. I got it. I got it. Okay. Space. Look, okay, final thoughts on Advance 2, Logan. Yeah. Go. Yeah. I got it. Breathe easy, Tommy. I I can't breathe in space. <laughs> <laughs> you won't breathe in a second once I strangle you. Bye, everybody. All right. See you guys for Sonic Advance 3 whenever that happens. Yeah. If ever. Bye. Bye. Oh, Sonic! Oh, God, now. Yoosh.